What caused William Hardison to fire thousands of shots after sheriff's deputies showed up to evict him? It's a question many are trying to answer as Garfield and neighboring communities try to deal with the trauma of that long standoff yesterday. KDK lead investigator Andy Sheehan is working to learn more about who Hardison was and why he believed he was above the law. Law enforcement sources tell me that William Hardison had 15 guns in this house and an unlimited supply of ammunition, which he used in the misguided belief that the laws of the United States did not apply to him and this house was rightfully his. Take your land. This is my land. This is my land. I'm a moor. This is William Hardison four years ago during a traffic stop by police on the north side. He tells them he is a Moor, a descendant of Morocco, a country which he says owns the United States, and as such, the laws of this country do not apply to him. I'm a Moor. I got every right to travel from here to Timbuktu. Court records show he has been cited more than 30 times in the past 15 years for not having a license or registration. And here he tells police they have no jurisdiction over him. He considers himself what is known as a sovereign citizen above the law. I consider them outlaws. That's how I best describe sovereign citizens. They're people who, who think they're above the law, they don't have to follow the law, and so they behave accordingly. Chatham University professor Christine Sarcheski believes Hardison's Moroccan heritage and sovereign citizen beliefs may have led to yesterday's fatal confrontation with police. She says Moorish sovereign citizens believe everything in the U.S. is rightfully theirs. Which sometimes leads to the squatting situations uh, where they think that they own that house. Court records show the house was owned by Hardison and his brother Joseph. But when Joseph died in March of 2021, William quit paying the mortgage and the house was sold in March to a limited liability corporation called 907 E Street. William filed papers in federal court accusing the new owners of fraud and trespassing, maintaining the house was still his and refusing to leave, despite a judge's order to do so. I expected something like that from him. He was a squatter. And according to law enforcement sources, he had his brother's 15 handguns and a mountain of ammunition on the ready. He said it, they did his brother wrong, but they're not going to do that to me. I got something for them. Miraculously, no law enforcement officer or citizen would be seriously injured in this melee, though William Hardison would lose his life all on the mistaken belief that the laws of this country did not apply to him. Reporting in Garfield, Andy Sheehan, KDK News. The Sheriff's Department says this was not the first time that Hardison had been through an eviction process. Yeah, we've learned he was evicted from a home on the north side last fall.